60 minutes overtime. Our story this Sunday is about Alexei Molchanov. He is the world's best freediver, a 34-year-old guy out of Russia. Plus 10. Alexei Molchanov is to freediving what Michael Phelps is to swimming. Alexei owns all the world records. If anybody breaks one of his records, he's back in the water two minutes later reclaiming the record. But it seems so unnatural watching it to go underwater and not fight trying to get back up and grasp for air. How do you get your mind around that? If you look from like, outside, it seems like a natural thing, but actually what you would feel when you start freediving is that, that you have this capacity, you have this reserve of oxygen, you just go in the water, and the first step is about trusting your abilities. This is not jumping off the edge of the boat and saying like, let me see how far I can go, or I'm gonna go follow a fish. This is almost a meditative sport where you have to get really zen, really calm, before you decide that you're going to test yourself and to see how deeply you can dive. It seems to me like most extreme sports, you need to be just fueled with adrenaline and fired up. And you kind of do the complete opposite, right? You're... It's very opposite. Learn how to let Chill. go of pressure, of tension, and just like enjoy it. If you enjoy it, that's the sign that you do things right. I do this records only because I can let go, I can enjoy the dive, and I can just stop thinking about the time. There have been a lot of times when I'm doing a story. We'll try some breath holds. Especially when I was doing a lot of sports stories, I was like, yeah, I want to try that. Just comfortably inhale, not deep one, and then let go of this air like with a sigh. This is the first thing I've ever done where I was like, yeah, I think I could get into this. Hold the breath and slowly go down. Okay, and I'll hold you, like, relax your back, relax your shoulders. So I started off, I think, underwater, relax like I could hold my breath for 20 or 30 seconds or something like that. Stretch your neck, yes. That's good for the start. <laughs> After Alexi kind of taught me these deep breathing techniques. And inhale. Let's start. Relax your neck. Put your arms down, like more down, yeah. I was able to be in the water holding my breath for about two minutes. Very good. Okay. And breathe. Couple more deep ones. And recover. Good job. It's all right. Thank you. You're a good <laughs> you're teacher. Welcome. A good teacher. You know what you're doing. <laughs> it's interesting. It's a very fast growing sport, but you know, there are limitations, right? You have to have deep water to dive in, you need to be trained, you have to be physically fit. It's going to attract a certain type of person who has the ability to get to certain kind of places to do this. Ten years from now, I'm sure there'll be something I will be able to do or new generation of us will be able to do to move in even deeper. Touchdown! Touchdown. 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 